Alright, today we'll be playing the Hand of Chaos. And then, this is where you, some of you, if you actually know what I've been doing way in the past, this is where some of you may say, well, you're not going to play your own hack again, are you? I mean, it seems kind of biased that you may just favor your hack due to the fact that it's yours, and well, it doesn't make much sense to rate your own hack. But here's the thing, it isn't. No, my hack wasn't like, stolen by some other guy, it just turns out that there's another hack out there named the Hand of Chaos, which is why I had to name the copy of the ROM that I patched it to, the other Hand of Chaos, to not confuse it with the original, the one that was mine, and I'm sure this one will be better, but hey. Let's see what the other Hand of Chaos, not mine, looks like. Made by Forza Quad, who probably has no idea I even made mine first. Hell. Yup, the Hand of Chaos. I'm gonna show you something quickly, just in case if you really did not remember. This was mine, except I didn't put my username, Level Engine, at the bottom yet. It was just anonymous. If you don't remember, yeah, the one with the Jaded Realm, the blatant overworld edit, some weird palettes, some overworld cutoff shit, the one with, well, yeah, sprite memory error, the one with even, yeah, I'm not making this up, this is my hack, one of the worst I've built, but hey, it's still a hack, the one with even Kaizo levels, not kidding, I actually submitted this on Super Mario World Central, Lightvane never even commented on the Kaizo levels. Oh, look at this. Yeah. This is why this hack has been doomed to shame. Cause it just does things like this! Yeah, as in, once you look under the hood, it really stinks. And then the last level is named... Can I get to it? Glitch land where you have to exploit glitches to be able to beat it. I'm not kidding. This was my hack. And my idea of the Hand of Chaos looked a lot different from, well, what you just saw on the title screen before with four Quads. I'll draw a picture of it and insert it so you can look at it. These Hands of Chaos are in no way related to one another. Let's get back to what we should be doing. Not even the file select menu, just plop them in. Centuries ago existed a sect that kept the order in two dimensions with an ancient artifact known as Gauntlet of Order. This is already looking better than mine. My intro was just... Except I... Oh, it's S. <laughs> that will actually... After that last great threat, the glove was divided in seven pieces and then spread around the world. Except I'll know... Like, Bowser has noticed about the power of Gauntlet and he kidnapped Toadsworth who knows the location of missing parts. Except this looked much cooler than Wall. Why? <laughs> Hurry up, Mario. I must save Toadsworth. I know more about this legendary power. It's called the Gauntlet of Power, not the Hand of Chaos, but hey. And how do you actually... It'd be nice if I could play the... Yeah, I just have to wait it out. Okay, I can play the game. The adventure begin! <laughs> so far, it's already looking better than mine. As you can see. Hey Mario, you must learn and practice some skills, but it seems that the training ground's closed. Bad luck, fatty. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> so far the graphics are looking epic, but we need to actually get into the levels themselves. And oh yeah, I've seen these. These are in... Except this is looking a bit like SMB1's 1-1, one -one, except the mushroom is here instead of there. And now... Starting to actually go... This looks like something that would have shown up in XMB, except for now there's slopes. No, not really anymore. Now everything looks super cartoony. Like, yeah, like, really, this looks like it came from a cartoon book or something. It's like something that came out of some kid's book. It looks nothing like the original game. After doing a little looking around, I think I actually figured out where these graphics came from. Super Princess Peach. Yeah, in which Princess Peach is the main character, and she's trying to rescue Mario and or Luigi, whichever, I don't remember. And it's using the SMB3 power down system, I see. So far, this looks a lot more playable than, well, mine. Cut off with the pipe, but yeah. 
My hack had probably more cut off than this. It wasn't intentional, of course, it just happened! Okay, there's the... Oh, it's the end. Of course, these are gonna be simple levels of the first ones. And apparently this demo is only eight levels, so it should be short. Why does this have no name? This dot doesn't work. But this one does. Shylent Hill, except what's a Shylent? I don't know. And whoa. This scrolling effect with the background. That's gonna be a little confusing, but hey. Apparently, I actually forgot what this was called. Apparently, the scrolling effect is called Parallax. According to some... I think it was Ice Link in the comments of one of my videos, which I played La Di Da's entry to the chocolate contest. Apparently it's called Parallax, this kind of scrolling with what you got in the foreground. When it's done right, it looks amazing. Of course, you always gotta love Yoshi's Island graphics. <laughs> okay, this is actually getting a little out of hand. This is getting to be a bit problematic when you can't even see what you're doing. Really problem, you can't really see what you're doing there because the background's getting in the way. And how do you use this pow? Oh, you just step on it, then why can you- oh. Problematic when you come to think of it. That can actually get in your way and impair your vision. I don't think this is intentional, but hey, it happens. Even it's still fine otherwise. Everything's fine other than that so far. Why does the background just change color when you grab the flag? Maybe that's one thing you never figured out how to fix. Super Hills! More Super Princess Peach graphics. I like the Yoshi's Island ones a lot better. Like, yeah, the Yoshi's Island graphics are some of the most awesome ones. They look way cartoony, and it's kind of hard to believe that they actually passed it off as a sequel to Super Mario World. The games looked and felt nothing like alike, but still, it happened. Yeah, in the first Super Mario World, you're just running around as the plumber like this. Very similar to this, except different graphics. And in the sequel... Oh my, is it ever different. You're playing as Yoshi carrying a baby across six worlds instead of, well... Yeah. You're actually, you're playing as a bunch of different Yoshis carrying the same baby across the world. They're just... It's like some sort of relay race to get the Bowser before it's too late. And what's in here? Should be something. <laughs> yeah, wow. Just these... Okay, let me look at this. That's a bit confusing here. This looks like some sort of 2D with 3D effecting. I'd be expecting to stand in the middle. Okay, I'm sort of close to the middle. I'm just a little confused, and yeah. This hack's already more generous with feathers and leaves than mine was. I didn't even intend to have any at all. The one feather that was in Hand of Chaos? I'm talking about mine, not his. Was there by accident. <laughs> I didn't want feathers in my ROM hacks. Starting from Hand of Chaos, as I knew, with that... You could skip everything. Why would I build a level if someone could just fly over it? That's pretty much the ultimate question in mind that I have now. Why build something if someone's just gonna break it? Part of the reason why I don't use Yoshi either. It's not as easy to break a level with Yoshi than it is with a feather, but still. It actually depends on what level you're playing. I mean, if it's a level, a castle level full of spikes, then Yoshi's gonna break that. Unless the spikes are on the ceiling and walls, but still. If it's an above ground level, the feather's just gonna break it unless it's nerfed. Yeah, that would mean you just fly over the entire level. Which, of course, is OP. And yeah, the background still changes color when you grab the flag. Ride, Yoshi, ride. Well, I think there's Yoshi in this one. And this looks like new Super Mario Brothers graphics. Oh my, Hammer Brothers. There's Yoshi. Now things are gonna get easy. I mean, the reason Yoshi is, I consider Yoshi to be overpowered, not due to the fact that he breaks levels, but, well, you can get, a, you can get hit a lot more times than if you didn't have him. It could result in you taking as many hits as you want, just so long as you can catch Yoshi before he runs off into some hole or something. Plus he can eat stuff while well, it's not so broken. You can actually do two jumps, you just have to sacrifice Yoshi to make one of them. He enables you to double jump like so, as you just saw right there. There's a switch. 
Everything's looking cooler than, well, in my own hack. This looks like a bunch of stuff from New Super Mario Brothers, which was made, like, what, 16 or something years after the game that it was based off of? I don't know. I mean, Super Mario World itself was started in 1990, done in 1991. New Super Mario Brothers, I think, was done in 2006, about. So, yeah. Pretty silly to see graphics from a 2006 game in a game that's based off of something from the 1990s. I think I may have said that already. Oh, wow, we get to keep Yoshi neat. What if we're gonna get the keep him from one level to the next? We'll have to see. Apparently not. And yeah, there's a lot of new Super Mario Bros. graphics in this one, as you can see. Hell, this is from like, what, the tower level. You can bounce on- I know this! At the toad who couldn't pass this tower. ATT? Is that the name of the toad who couldn't pass the tower? I don't know. Is at the toad who couldn't get through the tower. Wow. So this music track is weird. If it's supposed to be a port of the NSMB little fortress theme, then I don't think it was done so well. I'm sure it is! It sounds similar enough, but it just wasn't done well this part. And what's this red coin for? Maybe if I can get a running boost, I can just take it. I'm gonna go for the running boost and try and get it. Okay, that's not what I had in mind. Okay, apparently that doesn't even work. Wow. Nope. Not even with the running boost can we get it. And what's the red coin for? I think something's gonna happen if I get all eight. Yeah, eight's become some sort of a traditional number as to how many red coins you need to gather. Eight red coins in the Super Mario Sunshine levels. Eight in the new Super Mario Brothers things, and yeah. Get eight red coins, something good happens. In some levels in Super Mario Sunshine, to 100% the game, you had to do the same thing, but get all eight red coins, making it tougher. Like... Dirty Lake Secret, and then, to get another Shine Sprite, you gotta do Red Coins of Dirty Lake. Same thing, but get 8 Red Coins, that'll just make the thing tougher to do. And yeah. In New Super Mario Brothers, however, get 8 Red Coins, random power-up's gonna fall, and you're gonna be able to collect it. Get 8 Red Coins before the timer runs out, anyway. Here, I think it just gives you 1-ups. And what does this do? Oh, you grabbed them. Couldn't tell by the color. Except there, I have nothing to hit, so why bother putting them in there anyway? I have nothing to hit. What does it say? Beware of blue mushrooms, they are poisonous. At the toad who... That's the name of the toad, right? How I wrote this, I haven't... Have it? Any idea? And where's the closing parentheses? That one. He's talking about. What's the point of these platforms anyway? Do you really need them? There's a boss. Let me guess. But it looks a bit boom boom. Yep. Pretty silly to see boom boom in one of these S NSMB castles. Just come on, swoop down so I can hit ya. Stop being a pussy. Okay, there we go. Now he speeds up and yeah. Three hits and he. Yeah, just like in Super Mario Bros. 3. Well, some of the later ones, anyway. I don't think the first one in SMB3 started flying just yet. I think they gave you time to adjust. 